What up, y'all? It's Coffee back with another one, man. We're over here on West Side Guns IG page, and seems um he may have taken a shot at Eminem. Y'all, let me know what you guys think. Now, I've done covered on the channel numerous videos regarding Griselda. I fuck with their music heavily, um, you know, just in general, cover them, but. There's been quite a few situations where it was like, you know, as we know, contractual obligations are, are um, done, you know, for all parties included or however Conway put it, you know. But it's just been crazy, man. You know, there's times they've expressed their frustrations when they were on the label with the label. Um, seemingly kind of took some small shots at Eminem in a sense and definitely you know, got frustrated with the stands numerous times, you know what I mean? But peep it, you see this post, uh, <clears throat> Wes put this up, seems he's got some new music on the way, and we know Griselda's, like, work ethic, the frequency of them dropping music is like no one else in the game, I love it, you know what I'm saying? It used to be like one album mixtape or EP, whatever you want to call it, one project a quarter almost you know but um it's kind of slowed down more recently but didn't west side gum retire or no i I don't know am i tripping or i I feel like there's been numerous times he's hinted at retirement or i could have swore though when that shady jump off drop wasn't he moving on from music i don't know man but um they're dope they're dope Whole Griselda's dope to me, but let's get into it, man. Let me quit stalling. Guess who's coming home? Now, the way he spelled that has uh, a lot of people in the comments, I I believe, you know, theorizing that this is a Mac Hami project coming, which he's dope, man. He got some for real bars. But, uh, Peep, uh, we'll go through the comments here, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's see, uh... Everybody think they fly now, but ain't nobody flyer. When, bro, I need it. When's it's dropping? Nothing but respect for my president. Uh, Supreme Supreme Blyantel 2. You remember uh, Supreme Blyantel was also known as Briss Benoit. That was kind of controversial in a sense, right? You know what I mean? But uh, West Side Gun was like, yo, that's because I'm just trying to kill everything. You know what I mean? Um I don't know, some people were like, you know, that that's disrespectful, but hey, that's the way they rock with their art, you know? The Hitler references, a lot of people didn't like neither, but yo, it's Griselda. That's how they rock, right? Uh, gang, fucking hyped. Uh, hope there's going to be some wax for this. Need a date, Mac Hami or another solo. Let's see, I want to see the replies to this. It's Hami. This ain't him. Thanks, fam. I figured I haven't really heard him on that uh, stuff since Reject 2. Mac been on the last two West Side Gun tapes, though. And I've been bumping them. I gotta check the credits. And West Executive Produce, Pray for Haiti. LOL, man. And I got the first one and second one. I got Mac hit, um, mixed up. Keep the culture going. The best to do it. Do, 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 do. And <laughs> someone wrote, uh, this person put two, 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 two. Like, the fuck? Ain't no two twos up in here. White eyes, we split them keys. Boy, white pies. Fire emojis, pray for mercy. Fly God, sheesh. I already know the merch for this going to be hard as fuck. This is the Fiend chapter of West Side Gun. Fly God, let's go. Drop, gangster, when's the dropping gun? Um, madness, yeah, drop. Can't wait for this. The greatest of all time. We lit, woo, all praises. But patience, y'all, we're going to get there. Bear with me, apologies. Friday the 13th, drop some music. Halloween McQueen. Where we at? We're getting close. But, um... Yeah, man, it, it's kind of crazy the way uh, Griselda has grown apart in a sense. I don't mean that in a bad way. Although we've seen a lot of blogs and, you know, news headlines saying that ish as well. 
And where's it at? Apologies, guys. First Benny teasing the plugs I'm at three. Now this Griselda Forever. Slide Green Drop Fly God. Oh, my bad, y'all. Here it is right here. Bro thinks he's shady. Okay, so you see 69 comments in here. Ish gets spicy, I guess. So, obviously, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Jason mask. We know Eminem rocked the Jason mask before. But as we're seeing, this isn't even his project, right? But it's crazy, man. I, I did a video before where West Side Gun went off on um this one individual who's you know tapped in on one of my lives and you know tapped in with some of my blogs she's a very very big fan of hip-hop i know she's happy as hell right now because uh she's she's like closely associated with uh crooked eye and uh, we just seen the big news of him jumping into the battle world man that's lit but um it's crazy man uh she she got into a whole she put up a poll once about I forget what it was about, but like who's the dopest in Griselda or something like that. And West Side Gun went off calling the fans um, bums and all kinds of ish. Like West Side Gun be bugging, man. But uh, see what he says. He says, I'd rather jump off a bridge. So what do you guys think? You know, when someone's saying, oh, he thinks he's Eminem. And again, it seems this isn't even his project or him rocking the Jason mask. But um. You know, someone says that to him, his response is, I'd rather jump off a bridge. Now, I mean, one could say that someone, you know, like, hey, I'm, he's his self. He has pride in his self. So, you know, flirt that. But, I mean, would he have put it that way? Would he have, like, said, like, nah, I'm my own individual or what? Like, what do you think when he says, I'd rather jump off a bridge? Is that disrespect? or what, you know, but again, like I stated, we know West Side Gun has a tendency to get heated, frustrated with the fans, you know what I mean, and we also know um, the stands, like, obviously, this guy probably is an Eminem fan, the stands really can work their nerves, and I mean, I get it, guys, comment, like, uh, the stands drove Conway insane, I got a video up somewhere on my channel where Conway went live, man, and they, like, he just went off. Yo, he was like, eat that man's Johnson on his own page. Get the fuck out of here. He was straight up like, I can't wait for this ish to be over so I can get away from you guys. Like, he was like, you guys are bullying me. So, I mean, we know how M's fan base is. So, I get I get it can get hectic. But, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? Do you guys take that as disrespect or what? But let's, let's carry on. Do you think he could have just been like, yo, I'm my own, like, individual respect my gangster respect my art or i don't know you know i don't know like i'd rather jump off a bridge that's i don't know man i, I really don't know what to make of it but uh someone says you goofy as fuck shady could never oh uh, there was someone responding to him when did i do this that wasn't even a real jason mask my mans they finna tear you apart uh you mean fly god and shady thinks he's ghost face goofy be you. I'd rather jump off a bridge first. Carry a man. I'd rather carry my kids first. Um. Oh, so are these some bars from a track? He owns your life now, kid. Um, Shady, he's fly god. Who is Shady? Shady wishes he was bro. Fuck Eminem. He hasn't done ish for the culture or Detroit. He gave you Kendrick. You reaching. How, how did he give... Someone Kendrick. We, we got to go to this guy's page in a minute because I, I, he's seeming kind of goofy, right? You reaching. It was a joke. Damn, people are, are so sensitive. I knew Kendrick before he was signed with Dre, not M. Yeah, like M has nothing to do with Kendrick's career. Like, yeah, he done collab with him before, but he has nothing to do with Kendrick's success. And uh, we knew Kendrick before the Drake deal. You know what I'm saying? With Top Dog, he was making noise. Y'all remember? It was so crazy, man. It was like J-Rock was supposed to be the dude that blew up first. Remember when he dropped his uh, joint and he had the, he had the, the was in the ghetto, ghetto, the, the Wayne verse? Kendrick was in the background of his video. But then later, Kendrick blew. You know what I mean? Um, J 
J-Rock's dope, though. Comment if y'all fuck with J-Rock. Yeah, but, and then if, you know, some people who maybe really don't be tapped into hip-hop like that, like, say they didn't know Kendrick before the deal, like, Dre was a part, like, what the fuck does Eminem got to do with any of it, man? He could have said he brought 50, you know what I mean? But even 50, like, the fans knew 50 before the M deal, you know what I'm saying? Um, Let's see, don't try and act like Shady can't body this motherfucker. Um, Shady is whack, period. He might, uh, be able to rap better, but he can't make hits anymore. Plus, he stole his style from Fuzz, and he can't rap as good as Fuzz. Name at least one, uh, but Shady signed Griselda, and M wasn't trying to press up vinyls, cassettes, or CDs like that till he seen Griselda do it. What do y'all think, man? Did, did Eminem swagger Jack, or just Shady Records, did they swagger Jack the whole vinyl and everything like the way Griselda be doing that yo listen Griselda's swag their art I don't know man like they're just super original to me like none other non-duplicatable if that's yeah I don't even know if that's proper English but fuck it this is a YouTube blog what are you gonna do you know uh Godzilla did 900 a million on Spotify you know that right uh first off Spotify means nothing that was two years ago. He dropped. All right. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm reading each and every comment here. Let's get back to where. Because I, I know he's in the comments again here. All right here. Uh, he says, says the dude who can't even be himself. To this guy, Sueda Batul 717. Where's his comment? I want to see what he said. That got under West Side Gun skin here. Hold up, y'all. Where's it at? Damn, it's wait. Yo, there's so many comments in this thread. Fuck it. I don't know. But there's another uh, comment where he goes off again. Um, oh, right here. This is the sermons in two, 2002, which said, Shady did it 20 years ago, LOL. And then he said, glad to see you still jealous. Damn, he told West Side Gunny he's jealous. M and M did that 20 years ago. Yo, M said, y'all stupid motherfuckers took the bait. Ha, ha, ha. Still sucking off a grown man. Why would I want to be anybody when I'm me? That's y'all problems. You don't even live your own lives. The internet got y'all. Ha, ha, ha. Now, fuck you and everybody like you. Damn. Look, and there's still like another 70 comments on here. But I believe that's the last comment from Wes. So, I don't know, man. I mean, he did say what I was saying there. Basically, like, he's himself. And, and these fans don't even live their own lives. But, um, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? Was that, was that comment, the way he addressed that, was that kind of a diss towards him? Or disrespectful to M. I mean, it's wild, man. You think that they've dealt with this ish so much. Like I said, I know, like, the stands are, like, so many of them and they don't stop. Like, just ask as is, y'all, right? But, um, you know, would you think by this point that they have kind of have already got over it? Or do you think, like, these motherfuckers can find a new way to irritate the fuck out of you every day? Like nothing like the day before i don't know but tap in comment um it's crazy man it's so weird even after like it, it was wild the times that they did kind of take shots at shady records or eminem then later they'd be like yo them the homies like this this and that um they gave us the opportunity like they'd always go back and forth with it you know what i'm saying it's, it's very bizarre like even since conway's been off we've seen him in, in a couple interviews you know the one interview was crazy he was talking about yo i didn't make ish when it came to the deal i didn't even want to do the deal um i didn't read the contracts and all this it was like damn conway like how many rappers have we seen sign bad deals you know what i mean like how many and, and you just you don't even like they don't seem like stupid guys. So to just blindly sign a contract, it's like, damn, Conway, you know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know, man. All in all, we've always heard that they've had a very artist friendly deal. You know, and the fact that 
they were able to release their own independent projects and keep all the money and, you know, all that. Most labels ain't letting you rock like that, you know. And it's just so crazy, though, the way that their deal worked, that it was a three-album deal. You know what I'm saying? They had the Griselda group effort or compilation album, however you want to refer to it, you know, which they've constantly stated that they are not a group, you know. I want to see another Hall & Nash project, too. Comment if y'all want to see another Hall & Nash uh, jump off. But, um, like... Uh, it's it's still crazy though the way it went how many years it took them to drop those projects it was like insane you know and and you could always tell that they just didn't vibe like that you know because i kept once i heard of the deal every time an m project or one of them griselda projects drop i was like oh damn i want to see them collab i want to see them collab and like we never really i mean we did see them collab but nothing like what we you know, what I thought and many other people that I chopped it with thought that we were going to see like numerous collabs from them, but it just ain't happened like that. So with that, this video is over. Apologies, guys. I know this one probably drug on uh, me going through that long ass thread like that. But what do y'all think, man? Tap in. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to sub to the channel. It's coffee, daily videos, talking music, news, sports, current events, life and much more. I'm about to hear y'all. Peace.